everybody. We're on the road again tonight. I'm at the Dick Brothers house to go hunting with some of his dogs and make another episode of my Huntsman Spotlight series. So I'll ask him some questions about his life, coon hunting, and some of his dogs and training methods and just get to know him a little bit. So I hope you enjoy it. You want me to open this up? Go ahead, because that way there's no glare on it. Yeah. You want to tell me what all those are? Uh, uh, I won a, a time of year, three years in a row, uh, with the Walker Association. And uh, uh, I went, I placed a big mic three years in a row in a top 20 UKC World Hunt. Oh, yeah. And, uh, then uh, I got the Werner Miller Award, and I got my uh, World Champion Chair in the Hall of Fame, and her dad, uh, Charlie Creek Mac, also. Okay. Yeah. Deer heads, and I have some deer heads in the garage, too. Oh, some nice deer heads in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, uh, I'd get it out of, out of your way. <laughs> you know right. what you Holy want cow. To do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's been a pastime on mine. Uh, these four deer heads right here are bull kills. Yeah. I, I, I like a bull hunt. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That's a, I didn't get into it until later. Yeah. These through from Iowa. That one was from Indiana. Okay. So you go out of state too and go on trips? Well, well I moved out. I oh, that's right, you lived down there. Ago. Yeah. yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, yes sir. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of uh, trophies. Some too. Walker Days trophies, World Championship trophies uh, for 1994 where I won the World Hunt. And uh, I won uh, Walker Days in 1997 with uh, Sarah. That's a nice clock, too. Yeah, uh, Bill Stover got me that clock. That was, that's big timer on okay. that clock. And uh, then uh, uh, I have this coon, but I can't, you know, I don't think you take a picture of it, but. You can see it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, no, I don't have a very good background. But oh, the background's not what matters. <laughs> That's what's on the wall. Yeah. I put that up last. You, we just only lived here a year now. Oh, really? Yeah. We moved back last June, and uh, so we'll we'll have to hunt them. It's a nice setup. You've never seen a dog load like this, one, buddy. Look at this. I never seen. It. Either. <laughs> he called me. I never seen that dog do that. I haven't either. At least he does it though. <laughs> oh yeah, he will load. Okay. Okay. Load. It will come out and go north in, uh, in town and 
I was trapped at when I was in school, and uh, I named it after Chief Charlie. Charlie Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, Dave Dean done art article on me years ago, and that was interesting art article. Yeah. He, he did some research. And Dave Dean was really smart man. Yeah. Yeah. Intelligent. And he could write. Yes, yeah, so I've I've seen some of his stuff, and that's what everyone I've talked to has said. He could write pretty well. Oh yeah, definitely. Two times in the competition hunt, so uh, I beat him. Luckily, both both times. Yeah. And one with beauty, and another one with scanner female I own. Hmm. And, uh, he treated me really good. When did you start coon hunting? In the in the seventies, I coon hunted. Uh, with a guy from work, one whole year, I just coon hunted with him, you know? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, uh, <clears throat> um, I originally started with a guy, Dick Smith. He had a black, pair of black and tans, and was, one was stride dog, and one was tree dog. Yeah. And as a pair, they made a good pair, yeah. you know? I started coon hunting with him, and uh, I didn't have a dog, but you know, uh, we hunted a whole winter and killed coons when they were worth quite a bit of money, and uh, so, yeah, that's how I got coon hunting. Well, really, I was running a trap line one night, and an old man by the name of Paul Swihart pulled up. He said, what are you doing? I said, running my trap line uh, along Bear, Bear Grass Creek. And uh, he said, you want to go coon hunting? I said, well, i never been before. I might as well. And uh, like your story would say, your dog never done that before. <laughs> but he treated a possum right away, you know. and. Uh, that was my first experience at Kuna. Yeah. Really. When did you start competition hunting? Probably 76. And uh, the first, I hunted, handled a dog for Mike Colbert. His name, her name was Brandy. And uh, then uh, I won second place in the uh, highest state championship with her. In my first hunt. In your first hunt? My first hunt. <laughs> yes, sir. That's and pretty good. I should have won first, but you know, they said just call for what she does. I didn't know anything about defense at that time. Yeah. You know? And uh, I made a mistake and I called her when I should have called her, but I won second place, you know, in a high state championship years ago. But, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got me hooked. I have that. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, sir. So, have you always hunted walkers? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. The Vern Miller Award I got. Uh, I hunted a dog off as his stock of dogs called Miller's Rock. And uh, the dog name was Old Lake Joe. And uh, his third or fourth stride dog and an ever more tree dog. Hmm. That was my first dog. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good dog. I sold him Sam Mackins in Ohio years ago. <laughs> really, I started out hunting females. I, I'm a female man. Yeah. I've always been a female man, but I have been fortunate to have several good male dogs too. What do you like about the females more? Females are not so headstrong. Yeah. And you know, they're usually start quicker than male dogs. Hmm. That's what I've seen yeah. through the years, you know. I just like a female. Yeah. Really. But fire's different. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's headstrong. <laughs> yeah. She's very headstrong. And what's she out of? 
Charlie Creek Clay and uh, Taylor Runstorm, Big Timer's mother. Okay. Yeah. So we're hunting fire, and then who's the other dog you got in the box? Timer. Timer. What's he out of? Big Timer. Uh, he's out of Big Mike. Okay. Yeah. Big Mike and uh, the Taylor Runch Storm, and uh, she's uh, Insane Kane and Old South Stylish Rebel Red. Okay. Uh, we're going to breed her again to Big Mike, and she's past due to come in heat right now, so I expect her to be in heat any day. Huh. Four twenty eight now. Five hundred yards. Turned him loose and went five hundred yards and had a coon. Load. Load. <laughs> yeah. Any advice for any if there's any people that are new getting into it or young kids out there well just paint patience is a virtue yeah you know you got to have patience with your dog you know yeah and uh, uh just just give him a chance keep moving it mm-hmm This is fire and the other one was timer, you said? Yeah, sir. I didn't hunt her in the spring super stake because I was hunting a queen okay. in her last one. That should be it, buddy. Oh! <laughs>
Starting pups. I, I don't mind starting pups. You know, if they are natural, I've been fortunate. You know, I don't know. Uh, I have to give of starting pups. If the pup is natural, you don't have to hunt gets out. You know, no. just take them hunt. They will show you when they they're ready to start themselves. So you just kind of wait for them to kind of act like they're ready to go, or do you yes, at like a certain age you try well, I I will introduce them to a coon in a cage on the outside of their kennel. What their reaction is, I I won't know if they're ready ready to start. Right. We'll, we'll see what it does. You know, just like uh, I started a fire, she was. She was treating her own coons at eight months old. And then I started her and I introduced her with a cage coon in her kennel beside Timer. So she, Timer got her fired up. Right. So I made a drag and uh, the next day and drag that cage up a coon a tree and she treated. Huh. And then I started hunting her by herself. So you just hunt most, mostly once you start hunting them, it's just by themselves? Yes, sir. Because they, they don't learn any bad habits. Right. You know, they don't jack the tree. They don't chew, you know. And uh, that, that's the way I see it, you yeah. know. I, I love starting a pup along, you know. That's where I've had the most luck, too, is just yep. hunting them by themselves. Yeah, yes, sir. If you start a pup alone, they don't pick up babbling or anything, you know, right. really. You know, you lay, let them mature and you introduce them to the dogs later on. Right. That's been my experience, buddy, you know. At what point do you start hunting them with other dogs usually? Well, I should have started hunting fire a long time, but you know, she was training an old coon very young. And, right. Uh, I, I just, uh, I should have done a long, uh, a sooner, really. You think like a couple months? Like if they start treeing their own coon, yep. you think after a few months yep. of hard mix, hunting? Mix them up. Mix them, yep. yeah. Yep. Yes, sir, but I didn't do her. I, I just hunted her solely along because through the years, just like my world champion Terry, she was natural split dream dog. And, yeah. You know, natural independence way back there. She was out of Mac, but he sh throwed that but way back then. I won uh, 10th place in uh, AKC World Hunt in 1990 with him. And uh, he was throwing independent dogs way back then. Huh. Well, you know, when you didn't hear an independent dog. Right. Really. But that's why I stuck with this bloodlines too. So you mentioned some of the competition hunts. What's some of the biggest competition hunts you've won? I won a little world hunt in Ohio with Charlie Creek Beauty. I placed in the ACH world hunt in 1990. I placed uh, Beauty in the top 20 of the world hunt two years in a row. And then uh, I placed Big, time, Big Mike three years in a row. And, uh, top 20 UKC world hunt. I didn't have them enough money to really push the dogs in UKC and PKC both yeah. at the time, you know. I like PKC. Sarah Female, I won Walker Days in 1997 with her, and 
she was on a premium circuit and placed fifth that year overall and uh, we had to pull her out of the hunts because she had heartworms. Oh. She won a Walker Walker Days, a English Days, a Plot Days, and Blue Tick Days. I tried to get her in the Hall of Fame this year, but uh, uh, it didn't work. So maybe we can do it next year. And I would like to see Big Mike entered in the Hall of Fame and as well as uh, Charlie Creek Breed, she's a real deal. Yeah. Uh, she she won a lot. She won an auto moats and everywhere. What did you say you won World Hunt? Yeah, in nineteen ninety four with Terror, Charlie Creek Terror. Uh, she was sired by Charlie Creek Mac. Was that was that your favorite dog? No, I, I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but one of my favorites because yeah. I've been blessed, Clay. I've had so many good dogs, really. Uh, uh, <laughs> really, uh, I've been. So, blessed. can you even do you have a favorite, or is it hard to even say you have a favorite? No, that's just the favorite at the time. At the time, yeah. really, you know. Uh, uh, there again, I I just done so much winning in my life, and you know, terror was. Uh, type of dog uh, when coon wasn't moving she would hurt you she would treat those like lay up coons like squirrels no oh, yeah. yeah really and uh, uh, I remember one night I was at Howard in Indiana and uh, I draw the English and a blue tick uh, male dog that night but English had scored 1400 or 1600 the night before huh. and said said you will have your hands full with her it, long story short terry treed five coons and that treed one <laughs> you know but she just had a knack about her only thing her i regret i retired her after i won world hunt she was just 28 months old oh really yes sir very young I should have did more with her. I regret it now. You know, back then, Tennessee Lee got killed. You didn't hunt very many world champions right. back then, you know. She uh, reproduced several good dogs, too. Well, that's good. So that's good, you know. I, my, my stuff goes back to her right now. Had this bloodline for 35 years. I had some setbacks. I done too much outcross at one time. That cost me five years. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I came back and I went to line breed and I got Big Mike. And uh, long story short, I'm back on track right now. Yeah. Got back to the truck, went to another spot. We're going to take Big Timer out now.
the time we're back in the truck, we got to a new spot. We're gonna take fire out and see if she can tree one here. How far is she? Um, two forty-five. So we just cut her loose. Juice two forty-five in the woods. About two minutes. <laughs> yep. Just started opening. Good. 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 Good.